On today's episode, I have my best day ever. So hey guys, WC Hamilton here, and I'm just gonna make this episode pretty quick today. I just wanna talk about one thing and one thing only, and that was my best day of trading so far in the past four months or so that I've been doing this. So let's jump right into it. All right, everybody, so I am on my home screen here, and as you can see, there is a massive jump up. Immediately, something catches your eye. You know, you've got this down here, and then boom. And we're up to this. 17, 12, 85, nice. So right here, it'll tell you we did uh, 229.18 or 15.21% in one day of our entire portfolio upgrade. Like, I know, 1700 bucks, not that much. But if you think of it as percentage wise, we're up 71.285% from our initial investment in four months, which is pretty crazy. And then we did 15% of that in one day. So $229.18 from where we started. If we look at our week, you know, we, we were we were doing we were doing good. 1540 starting the week. We went up and down. I bought uh, bought some options, you know, uh, you know, and then as I did, and it kinda goes crazy. I was waiting for that sweet spot, and then it uh oh, it dipped. So here's what happened. Here's here's what we did. So uh, this is actually technically this is recording on Monday. This was this happened on Friday, but I'll show you what we did. We're gonna go to history. We're gonna go to history right here. All right. Uh, da, 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 there we go. So this is what we did. We sold three contracts of SPY 290 call for for May 3rd at uh, $240 a piece. All right. Let's take a look at that. So we made 720 bucks. But obviously there was a sunken cost in it because I had to buy the contracts to begin with. Uh, and if we could go back here, you see that I bought one of them for $156 and I bought another one for $168. And the third one came actually as part of a two option order. Yeah, so I got credited 23 bucks because I bought, I bought a buy and I sold a sell of of SPY and then at some point during the week the the price of the underlying stock went down a lot so I bought back the sell for less than I paid for I think I paid yeah 219 right here and then I bought it back for 209 so I made 10 bucks on it not a whole not a whole lot a lot of times when I've been doing those I've been making you know, like 60 or 70 dollars cheaper buybacks but I wasn't sure that it was actually going to go down. It went up for a long time. So it went down 10 bucks. Cool. Got out of it. But then it kept going down and going down. And so this this buy leg, I was in it for $1.96. So I bought one at 168 which was around here somewhere. Um, and that averaged me down to 182 But then it went down again. If we go back to, uh, let's see if I can see that somewhere. So then it started dropping again after it never really reached that, that average point. And then it went down again, down again, down again. It's like, oh no. So I bought another contract for $1.56 or whatever it was. And that brought my average down to 173. So this was Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. So Thursday I left kind of annoyed because I was at negative $10 on my call. But I had and I had three contracts going. So every time it goes up one penny, I, I gain three dollars. If it goes down a penny, I lose three dollars. So at one point I was down like eighty bucks, which was not great. But then I ended the day at, at ten dollars. Well, I went and looked at the stock price, and the stock price had gone from two eighty eight something to two ninety something. It's like, oh, that's a big jump. So I I got you know I went over here to this to the screen, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna sell my contract. I'm gonna you know pre-populate it with stuff, right? Expecting it to be like two dollars. It's like okay, I'll make like sixty bucks or whatever. Not bad by any means. Uh, but then you know, eight thirty hit, eight thirty uh, Central Time, nine thirty is when the market's technically open Eastern Time. And it, it was like two hundred forty-two dollars, like two forty-two per contract. So I was like, oh. so I went and typed it in as a limit sell of, of two forty, just in case it fluctuated pretty quickly. Got it in, sold it, made $220. That's the story of it. 
I just lucked out again. Um, I mean, part of it is like I figure there is some method to my madness. I, I figure like if you look back at the price of these things, so this you can see how it's trying trying to dropped and then kind of went up a little bit, but it went back down and then and it jumped up. That's that's right where I sold it. But if you look at it historically, it's like it, it does that. It goes down and then it goes back up and then it goes down and then it goes back up. So I figured why not buy it when it's cheaper as it goes down and then wait for it to go back up. I had a month, you know, I bought a, a, an option that's a month out. That's plenty of time for the market to correct. Now, it could very well have done this and been very bad, but I didn't think it was going to and obviously it didn't. This would have been a disaster. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's the story of my best day of trading ever so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you maybe got a little takeaway of how my brain works and, and where I'm going with this stuff. Hopefully we can do something like that again. Uh, that would be super awesome if we could get quite a bit up off our initial investment and make a big return on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, been WC Hamilton, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.